Hello, my name is Michael Fisher, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology at North Carolina State University, and I study bed bug microbiomes. The microbiome is the collection of all the microbes in a given system. The microbiome of bed bugs, especially the influence of bacterial symbionts on insecticide resistance, remains poorly understood. Our project involves an in-depth examination of microbial interactions of the common bed bug with an innovative approach to still unanswered questions about their biology. Bed bugs are obligatory blood feeders that use intracellular symbiotic bacteria called Wolbachia that biosynthesize B vitamins for their nutrient deficient host. But field collected bed bugs also infrequently house other facultative microbes. As part of our overall project, over 300 samples were collected around North Carolina from non transient residencies and through Illumina sequencing of all gut bacterial species present. Most bed bugs examined contain insecticide degrading bacteria such as Sphingomonas, Aeromonas, Streptomyces, Erwinia, Stenotrophomonas, and many others. Symbiotic microbes in bed bugs may be conferring insecticide resistance, as recently discovered in other hemipteran agricultural pests, but this has yet to be explored. To test this hypothesis, we have maintained a symbiont free strain of bed bugs on blood supplemented with antibiotic and commercial B vitamins in the lab since February 2016. The objective of this project is to determine Wolbachia's influence on insecticide resistance. Bioassays that measure significant differences in susceptibility between the symbiont free strain and an insecticide resistant strain when treated with insecticides may illustrate this newly discovered phenomenon of symbiont mediated insecticide resistance. Mortality will be determined if insect it cannot right itself if disturbed. And we aim to evaluate three classes of insecticides, the pyrethroid delta methrin, and organophosphate dichlorobos, and the neonicotinoid imidacloprid. This finding could offer new evidence towards previously unknown mechanisms of insecticide resistance in bed bugs. Essentially, their endosymbionts, perhaps their environmentally acquired bacteria, are degrading the insecticides. Bed bugs will continue to burden humans for quite some time. As insecticide resistance increases, while our arsenal of chemicals for control decreases, the need for innovative control strategies is greater than ever. Studying bed bug microbiomes holds tremendous potential value as an untapped resource to uncover new clues about their biology we could exploit and apply towards novel control methods. Our research is an integral component of how we, as stewards of the future, are advancing the science of entomology.